Kelly Smith, Marietta, Oklahoma. What do you think of the 2021 NRHA Futurity this year? Uh, I think it's just about as good as it gets. It's huge. There's so many people here. The payout, I mean, the crowd. There's a million people in the crowd. Uh, it was, the ground's perfect. I mean, the, the weather couldn't be better. There's not a negative. Wow. Yeah. Well, tell me about the horse you went on today. Well, this is little Sweetie Pie. She's by Spooks Get a Whiz out of JDS Shining Image. She was a mare that Cody Suppressa showed it as an open finalist. Uh, we got her in, she was a yearling from Dr. and Dr. Troop. They live right around the corner from us in Marietta and they raise a bunch of horses. And um, we went over there and she she just caught just caught our eye. And she was, she wanted to be with us. And I mean, she was this tall when we bought her as a yearling. She's 13 too. <laughs> she does, is the smallest stature out here. She is, the shortest legs. Well, how is the she? The biggest belly and the shortest leg. How is she in the arena? Oh, uh, you know what? I've shown her, oh gosh, Denver, Tulsa, the Congress, and you know, she doesn't think anything of it. Uh, this is the first time tonight that I actually ran her and she didn't take a deep breath. I mean, she was totally ready to be run at this point in her career. You know, she had a lot of little practice things and she, I mean, she'd won 12,000 before she got here. So, it was it was it was quite uh, quite fun, quite fun to part. show her. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yep. Well, what really stood out about her whenever you? You know, her? first of all, I love the Spooks Get a Whizzes. That's no secret to anyone. Uh, I just love those things, and she was just so cute. She literally looked like this as a yearling. I have pictures of her. I mean, she looked she looked just like this, and she was real people friendly. Like, she wanted to be around us. She chased all the other little fillies away, and then she just followed us around. And, and I typically don't buy a yearling, so I said, we, we gotta do it. And then to have her in our program, you know, I don't ever, I don't ever come to the fraternity with one that has been clear through the program except the twice that I won the fraternity and both of those were started at our ranch too. So it's nice to actually have one that's trained and that you know the quality and you know that, hey, this thing could do something big here. I mean, it's, it's nice. What do you have planned next for her? Um, I don't really know. I mean, there's obviously a lot of people that are trying to own her. Um, and you know, these times are kind of crazy, so I really don't know what's going to happen. I mean, I'm holding it together. All right, well, who do you want to thank for helping you get here today? Oh, oh gosh, I always think I'm going to forget somebody. Obviously, Sam, Sam Smith, uh, Morgan Mosier, because she wrote her her whole two-year-old year for me. Uh, Fred Thompson's always been in my corner no matter what. Like, if I have any kind of trouble, I run down there. He helps me. He's helped me my whole career. Uh, Brian Bell actually helped me with my horses this year. I'd go down there and ride both of them with him. Uh, Patrice Sanoz has helped me a lot. Arno Ferret, I go to uh, the, my friend Lauren Love that I tied with. I go to their ranch and ride. Um, I mean, there's a lot of people. I love to go places and ride them, the young horses, and um, just listen to people's advice. I mean, it's, it's priceless, and I feel lucky that they are, those people are my friends. Oh, Jared LeClaire, I mean, he helped me at Denver. I was, I was in a real pickle there, and he came to my rescue. I mean, he's like, he, he, he helped me tremendously at Denver. So, just a, just a lot of people. Everybody's nice. Tim McQuay has helped me. I mean, uh, I respect so many of these people in this industry. You know, I mean, it, it's a priceless family that we have. It really is. That you can ask anybody. I mean, from Sean to whoever, you could ask them, and they're going to help you. With so many professionals in your corner, what was the uh, advice that stood out and really helped you tonight? Well. I uh, got threatened by all of them. They said, if, if you don't run her, Kelly, if you don't run her. And I was afraid to leave the arena if I didn't run her. And, and when I came in, I, I mean, immediately, you know how they come in, the, the first stop dictates. And then it was so loud that just that, um, the atmosphere becomes so large that you just, I mean, it 
just becomes part of you and you build off of that. It's huge. A quiet crowd, you kind of like, uh, uh, what am I doing wrong? But when you have the crowd behind you, it just gives you that much more motivation. It's huge to anyone when they're shown to have that. And it was it was loud. It was as loud as when I won the fraternity on that stud, or tied to win, excuse me. Sorry, Mandy. <laughs> yeah, that was a runoff. But um, no, it was it was priceless. The crowd was the crowd was great. Oh.